Hi everybody, this is an ever uh, this everyday commentary, and this is an overview of this flashlight. And this flashlight is the extremely rare, hard to find collaboration between Dawson Machine Works and Mitch Lum. This is aptly named Malahini, which I believe is Hawaiian for collaboration. Uh, this particular light is done in uh, copper, and yes, it does make your hands think, and yes, it does weigh a ton. And it sports uh, what could only be considered minimalist if you're talking about uh, steel flame, but this is a steel flame pocket clip. Uh, this is actually sent to me by Mitch Lum for review, and uh, the light is incredible. The light is just super, super awesome. So let's give you a size comparison. So here's the light on a deck of cards. As you can see, it's, it's just a bit shorter than a deck of cards is tall. Um, and here's the light compared to a uh, AA battery. Uh, the diameter is significantly larger, as you can imagine. But uh, this light is really sort of a tour de force of good design and good materials and good hardware. So it uses a really great emitter. Um, what is it? Ah, it's Dr. Jones? I forget. But the emitter is a really nice high-end emitter. It's a, a, a three LED array. The output on high is well over a thousand lumens, and on, a, on low, it's coming in right at about one lumen. It's got a couple modes in between. It's fully programmable, so you can alter the modes. All of this is done through a click. As you can see, it's a clicky, and it's running a Prometheus clicky. Um, this is just a really, really good light. Uh, one thing that's nice about this knife or this light is that there is a very gentle taper here. So you do have some ability to get like a, a cigar grip on the light and that gives you a lot of control and uh, it can also give you uh, good access and good positioning to activate the light and that's the high. I mean the high is just incredible. Um, the light itself uh, is made, as I said, made of copper and it is very, very heavy. And let's, let's take a look on the inside so you can see how thick the copper is. I mean, this thing is massive. Uh, one thing that's strange is that these aren't the, the beefiest threads I've ever seen. If you compare them to the threads in something like the, uh, the Boss 35 or the HDS Rotary, you'll see that the threads are a little beefier. But the, the thickness of the, the liner or the wall on this is just incredible. I mean, we're talking, I would say, at its thickest point. Now, obviously, it tapers down, so like we're talking about like up here. We're getting close to, you know, at least an eighth of an inch thick. And uh, here you can see the, the rear end of the electronics. They are very, very nicely, cleanly done. Everything is just beautiful. It's meticulous. This is like, uh, you know, made and put together by a machinist who has all snap-on tools and all high-end uh, tools. And they're all in one of those uh, giant tool trays where everything is marked out with a, a little silhouette. This is like put together by an incredibly fastidious, well-organized craftsman. Um, without the battery, the light is still probably twice as heavy, maybe three times as heavy as the Boss. Let me get the Boss real quick. Uh, and you can see here that this is the Boss. The Boss is a, just a smidge shorter. Um, the machining on these two lights is pretty incredible. I think I still like the triad tail clip, or the tail, uh, the triad tail a little better, but it's close. I mean, this is really, really good. Uh, both lights have uh, really nice, mild light escapes. These are not, you know, what we would call crenellated bezels. Um, this is a little sharper, but not much. Um, they're just beautiful pieces, both of them. Um, this, this one sort of has a, a worn-in river rock like feel and appearance uh, with the blackened areas and then the, the sort of dull, non, almost matte finish to the, uh, the copper. It's a really well-made light. Uh, I believe they sell for around $500, $600. However, they are extremely hard, extremely hard to find. They sell on the, the uh, Facebook page, I believe for both Mitch and for uh, Dawson machine shop so if you can find one get them but look at those threads look at the difference in the threads 
And it, like I said, it's not the biggest deal in the world, but like I, I like the the really beefy Acme threads, not only because they're more durable, but they're also a little bit easier to thread. You don't have to worry about cross-threading at all. Um, and if you don't have the, 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 the Acme threads, you can get some cross-threading. Uh, but overall, it's, a, it's, it's an incredible piece. A uh, little quick aside about the um, Steelcraft clip. So I, I'm not a big fan of the Steelcraft aesthetic. I don't really care about like the limited edition stuff. I don't like the way it looks. I don't think that it's all that impressive, but uh, it's a good clip. It, it works. Um, this one's a little stiffer than I would like, but it definitely works. It's solidly held in place. And uh, you know, this just this aesthetic just isn't my thing. Like, I, I, if, if I want something to look like Boba Fett used it, I would like to be the person that made it look like Boba Fett used it. So like, let me give you an example. Let me compare. Ah. There we go. So like, this is my personal carry. Uh, and this is my own, my very own uh, Gareth Bull Small Shimori. And as you can see, the blade is spectacular. I mean, it's in really, really good shape. But I, I've carried this and I've let it get scratched and I've let it get worn because that's the way I want it to look. Um, having somebody do that for me sort of strikes me like the uh, gear equivalent of Acid Watch jeans. So um, it's well made, it looks nice. Some of them are a little gaudy. This one's not that gaudy, but I, I just don't. I'm not. I'm not into the aesthetic. But I can see why certain people would be. Uh, overall, I think the Malahini is a an amazing light, and it's great to see new makers and new people putting out new designs in the flashlight space. For a while there, it looked like no one was doing it, and now we have uh, an explosion of good stuff. And this is certainly one of the emblematic pieces that are part of that second wave of really, really great custom lights. So uh, when you get a chance, go over and check them out and look for a review coming soon of the Dawson Machine Works Mitch Lum Malahini.